head to My Hero Academia. Uh, so this episode uh, follows up from last week. We were saying it was gonna be really tense, and this meeting pretty much was like the music got like pretty heavy, and everyone was just like feeling down. I don't know. What do you guys think? I, th- I think the kids just realized that people actually die in this world, <laughs> and uh, that was too much for them to take in. Apparently, agree. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, I don't know. Well, a lot of the episode it just kind of. Uh, it like it went over the stuff that we already kind of knew, just in more detail this time. Mm-hmm. Um, just let everybody else know, and then kind of just like we we now know what the blood is. Uh, Ku, you bit you called it. It it is from her, but it it made it sound different than well, I guess it was. Like, right now, it's still a hypothesis. It's not really confirmed yet. Oh, I suppose. Yeah. But I mean, eh, yeah. But that's I what they're, actually, they're thinking. I didn't it actually was... think it was her blood. I thought like because they said like it was like her quirk. I thought she could like like make it like. Squirt out like like from her hands, whatever. But I didn't realize. Squirt. Yeah, <laughs> I, I I didn't think they should they should actually be using her blood, but it, it kind of makes sense with the with she she Saki's powers. Dave, you right. got mind. Yeah, so so basically they explain how Chisaki's powers actually worked, and they're saying that because uh, apparently it might be his actual daughter, right? And I don't, um, I don't I think it's his actual daughter. I think, think so, no, no, but but people are like the guys in the meetings. They're assuming it's his daughter. Yeah, because that's what he mentioned yeah. to uh, Midoriya. Um, when they first met, and then they're like, "Oh, well, if this guy can disassemble things, then maybe his daughter can do something about like disassembly genes." And they just put two and two together. Oh, maybe her blood, like they're using her blood to put in these bullets to destroy people's like quirk genes, and that's kind of what they're thinking of right now. So I, I didn't really get that sense. That's what we were thinking of in the meeting, and like, the, well, the that's, that's that... what they said. The part that I was kind of like when they like they made it sound like like how like you know he could reassemble stuff as well. Right? Uh, yeah. I think so. Yeah, yeah. He can just okay. assemble, reassemble. Well, I believe. But like how they made it, well, at least in the subtitles, I have no idea if it was maybe just like lost in translation. But they right. made it sound like, um, like they were like it was like like her like they, I don't know if they were taking her body parts or parts of her body, and basically just like turning it into that, and then he was just like putting body parts. I don't know. It just sounded like really weird. That's what know. I was sort of getting out of it too. It's like he was disassembling like parts of our body and then reassemble into like bullet. yeah like like or okay you think reassembling well no I, I thought it was like also like i don't know if you can just like reassemble like the body as well i, um, I thought you were just taking a part like, part of a flesh out and just like using that as like as the bullet and then that's that, 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 that what they meant by or like he's taking like blood samples or something from her yeah. i think it's more yeah. than blood but okay so that's, like, that's why funny. that's why i was thinking it was like he was taking an actual like flesh from her yeah. and like, using that to make the bullet so she says that no, I was just saying, I think it's more to do with probably like genes and blood because that's his specialty rather than uh-huh. assembling the actual bullet itself. Yeah. However, could be wrong. But I, I can tell you this. I, I did have to watch this scene in English because as I watched it in Spanish, I had no idea what they were saying. I was like, <laughs> oh, yes. I could just tell by the emotions it was intense, but I'm like, ah, I didn't know the Spanish word for bullet. So I was like, what's a bala? Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> so did you watch it twice then? Uh, yeah, I watched that scene because, uh, mm. like, pretty much everything outside of that scene, I understood. But you know, that was eighty percent of the episode, so. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah. No bueno. Yeah. yeah. yeah I do want to say um, some of the artwork when they were talking about Chisaki and his quote unquote daughter remind me of Death Note. Like a lot of the Death Note artwork has that similar style, especially when they did the one about like where he's standing behind her and he's in purple, and then there are feathers falling. Uh, so I thought that was a nice touch. I'm like, oh, very Death Note of you. And then they had the dramatic music too, yeah. where it sounded like uh, what's uh, Kotsky's theme from Naruto. Oh yeah. Oh okay. I don't remember, yeah. I don't know what it was called, but uh, that that theme was awesome. Yeah. yeah, I don't I don't know either, but yeah, it was it was a good scene overall. I get the feeling though. I'm I'm not liking what's the name? Is it Night Eye? Yeah. Yeah. He's kind of like that next door lesbian that judges you for everything you do, and is too afraid to do it himself. Fuck, dude, <laughs> bro, I'm, I'm just saying, like that haircut, it, straight up, like lesbian. Um, like he sits behind his desk, and he's like, "Oh yeah, Midoriya has the same craziness that I won't ever understand. It's called having a pair of balls. Like they get up and they do what they're supposed to." So I don't know. I'm really not liking his character anymore. Yeah. I hope he dies from Chisaki's disassemblement. Jesus. Uh, in, in a nice way, though. Like, oh, you know, yeah. Hey, <laughs> of course. You had your time. What part yeah. is that in a Keep nice way? Please explain. 
Yeah. Well, you could die a much more gruesome death if you think about it. Like, what like, if like there's Chisaki's guy... powers? Well, no, Chisaki, like, I imagine you die within, like, a split second because you don't have a time, like, to feel anything. However, what if there's a villain named, like, Toothpaste-o? And what he did <laughs> was he literally squeezed the blood out of your body and he oh, squeezed your God. legs like a roll of toothpaste. Oh. So, yeah, see? Like, that would be way more excruciating. Did this I mean, just come to you on the spot? or <laughs> It did. Where did you get that idea from? I, I don't know. I was picturing a gruesome death and I thought nothing would be worse than getting squeezed out like a, <laughs> like a roll of toothpaste. <laughs> oh, God. I mean, I could think of way worse ways of dying, but man, that's uh, that's that's kind of nuts. Sir. That definitely seems like the like the the nice shonen jump way to go. Yep. <laughs> Die my two faced man. Yep. But um, <laughs> but, I mean, even, even my showing some okay. standards, like like a lot of the, just the <laughs> death's been pretty brutal so far. Uh, yeah. yeah. This season definitely has a darker tone, which I appreciate from the previous seasons. Mm. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, I mean, okay. we're getting much further into the show too, and like all that, a lot of the lighthearted stuff is uh, it's it's slowly just going away. Um. Don't, yeah. Okay. Except I, for I gonna... Kirishima. Right. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, Sasha. Your thoughts. Ah, yes, yes. <laughs> On that last right. episode. I, I will admit, uh, he came off pretty bass. Pr- bass? Pretty badass in that last episode. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, yeah I, I, I will have to admit to being wrong there. However, here's the deal. I'm holding out on him only because he took out some random guy with a gun. I want to see... Do they actually use well, I mean, some random drugged, drugged up, up guy, drugged though. Guy. <laughs> blades. Listen, blades. listen. Mm-hmm. I've given him as much nice. credit as I can, okay? <laughs> He's basically a grown up lobster. That's all I got. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but the art, the art style and the animation was fantastic for that episode. So it did make you feel like, damn, this guy's going somewhere. Dude, I want to see if he's used against a legitimate opponent. That's all I'm asking. I just don't want him to compare to, to Rock Lee. That's the only thing I have against. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Uh, he's still... I guarantee you... So Rock Lee, when he had that surgery, and they're like, you, you got a 50% chance to die or live, and Rock Lee was like, I'll take it. I guarantee you, Kirishima would have been like, ah, oh, bro, I'm, I'm not taking that surgery. I'm just going to spend the rest of my life in a wheelchair. <laughs> in a wheelchair, like a rolled up piece of toothpaste. So, <laughs> Dude, would you go out and fight that that guy if you knew it's like, hey, if this guy's really dangerous. This guy could just basically turn you into a tube of toothpaste. No, nah, man, who would have? That, that guy who could eat... Whatever it is, sushi and grow octopus tentacles, he would have been dead if that was me in that real <laughs> Oh, God. Um, I had a, a quick question to ask you guys. Like, you know, like how Night High, like they were talking that scene where he was just like, um, when, when, uh, I think the, I forgot who brought it up in the group, but the, he was asking, he's like, why don't you just use it like on all of us to, I don't know, oh, yeah. it's it's to the future? But, oh, Eraser Head, okay. Right, but then he says like, "Oh, I can only do it for like you know, like in the next like uh, within twenty four hours or something like that." Like, but how? Like, how did he do All Might? Um, because you know, think, All Might, he was able to see like years into the future. I think he was exaggerating, but or I don't know. Like, yeah, that was really weird the way they said it. I think. No, uh, so, I think what I think what he was trying to say was he could only use it on one person, uh, once per hour, and then um, he's saying for a period that, uh, of twenty four hours, right? Yeah. Yeah, but I think he can actually go further, but he's saying it's so vague, and since they don't really know what they're looking for, he's basically, like, doing a flashback of every person at every moment. So okay. if you were to do, like, everyone, it would just take too long. Gotcha. Hmm. Okay. But yeah, he's, like, his quirk sounds worse and worse the more they explain it. Like, yeah, when well, you first saw it, that was OP, but yeah. he's he's fairly useless. And then apparently he's Soldier so traumatized by All Might's future that he just gave up on trying to use it. Yep. I agree with Sasha's uh, thoughts on this character. Yeah, like first he's he first seemed like really cool, even though he had like a weird, you know, laughing fetish. Yeah, I'm um, like, all right, I'll, I'll let that slide, and then all of a sudden it's just like, it's like, dude, you're just you're just a guy just just talks in the background. Yeah, it, he doesn't have like for a hero. I get it. He's logical. He has to be careful. He's like the cool sided version uh, compared to all my hot headed impulsiveness. <laughs> But good golly, bro. Like, what have you actually done? I hopefully... <laughs> this guy, man, I swear, he's like, oh, it's not their fault. I'll take all the blame. Yeah, you will. Because you don't do anything. <laughs> so I, I, I'm i really disappointed in Night Eye, honestly. I hope he mm. goes night night. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I mean, I think I'm, I'm really done there. 
Uh, I I forgot what the preview was for the next episode, but I assume that like preview, preview was called Go, but it seemed like they were about to like uh, I don't know if they were executing the plan to recover the girl, or if they didn't, like mm. know where she is because they didn't because at the end of the episode they basically they made it sound like she didn't know where she was or they didn't know where she was. Uh, it sounded like they needed a secondary follow up meeting to come up with a plan of attack. Yeah. They pretty much yeah. just connected the dots for everybody, but didn't actually mm-hmm. plan anything else. So this might um, be part two then. So I think what they're gonna do, at least from what I got from it, is they're gonna do like a sort of stakeout. Since mm-hmm. is that what that's called? Oh yeah, that, that's, that's, that's I remember that from the preview. Yeah, they're doing a stakeout because yeah. they're fo- they're following the guy who's tra- who's taking care of Ari. Yeah, or since they have like multiple multiple like bases, and mm-hmm. they invited people from these certain areas because they knew the area. So I'm pretty sure the next episode is gonna be like groups splitting up. For like stakeouts and stuff. Okay, yeah, that's okay. now. Now I remember the previews. Yeah, it was the stakeout. Okay. We yeah. also got to see. Uh, we also got to see. Um, uh, Pit Boy. Um, get either pissed or something else besides just a smile on his face. It's his oh, creepy yeah. smile. Yeah, the sweat beam going down his cheek. That's where <laughs> I knew I was fucked watching this episode because I had no idea what he was reacting to. I was like, hmm, it's English all <laughs> <subtitle> the time. <laughs> something about a ball, but he said. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was like, "Oh, what what could they be talking about? Why are they purple?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll see. I my expectation is they they have to like uh what, what, what am I looking for here? They have to up the ante and make it more dramatic. So I think with the stakeout, something is going to Oh yeah. Not go, go their way obviously. Yeah. But I think there's going to be a higher cost than we suspect cuz Chisaki so far, he's a pretty serious villain, way more mm-hmm. than hand scratchy yeah. face guy. Uh-huh. So it, it feels like anytime you run into him, there are severe consequences. Yeah, I wonder especially how if you're one of his like, workers. I wonder how long, like, um, a lot of this is gonna go for. Because, like, I feel like this whole, the whole fight with Chisaki is gonna take up the entire like two seasons. So I wonder well, how long no. it's gonna take just to just to catch up with him and then finally fight him. I think well, it's gonna be really short. Really? Dude, I, I thought this guy no. is supposed to be like a pretty big arc. In the, from what I heard, like, I thought uh, people were saying that this is a. Uh, a pretty big I think part. It's like of one of the best, one of the best arcs in the manga, or yeah. is a really good arc at least. Yeah, so I'm sure with like uh, with bones, they're probably just gonna they're gonna take their time and make sure to not uh, screw it up. I mean, I'm just wondering about the like the original like yeah manga, like what that happened in the arc, like how how much of this is gonna be just about, about Chisaki and yeah. like how are they gonna keep like like yeah like like Sasha says upping the ante every time. Yeah, at the end of the um... arc, I mean, I, I might go. Like uh, to the manga, maybe, and just like read the manga. But I'm, I mean, until the until this anime is done, I'm not gonna um, go back and check anything out yet, or until like oh. the, the, this arc is done, at least for the in the anime. I feel like it won't be that long, honestly. I feel like they're gonna find them, they're gonna fight, and then um, they're gonna either capture or kill Chisaki. But then All Might's gonna die in the process, and then um, the the Decay guy, the one with the hands, uh, he's gonna take over. Oh, so you you think there's something like 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 mm-hmm. Chisaki's gonna be like part one, and then like part two is gonna be like like Tomura? Yeah, he's like, oh, I know what your plan is now. I know how to do everything. Oh, like, I know. Interesting. I'm gonna take over your group and finally form the League of Villains my way, right? <laughs> I can that see. Or... That should be pretty cool. Yeah, or I don't know if that's what's gonna happen, but I definitely think that that would be a little bit more rewarding. Right. Just in terms yeah. of he's been a long term villain and he has a little bit more connections to everybody. It could be. Uh, I was also thinking with like Chisaki, it could be one of those things where he's like mortally wounded or something, and basically goes to Tomura, help me, and he just grabs him and just you know just dissolves him. Uh-huh. You know, one of those things. And then he yeah. just takes over. I guess like I'm, I was just a little biased because I just assumed that everyone was saying that this arc in the manga is really good, so I assumed like it was gonna be Chisaki the whole time. You know, they said Sora was good too. And, uh... <laughs> they did say that. You're right. Yeah. We'll get to that later. <laughs> I have a little more faith in uh, Hero Academia, though. But... Oh, yeah. I, oh, yes, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, I could see how... I could see Chisaki actually surviving longer than that. I, I could foresee him causing a lot of problems because, like I said, so far, yeah. nothing's been easy about him. He's got yeah. a little girl randomly taking blood from her. So <laughs> I think this is going to be a pretty major and complicated arc in terms of it's not going to be that easy for the heroes. Like, Stain was pretty simple for them. This guy yeah, that was a fast arc too. With Stain. Stain was only like yeah. three or four episodes, yeah. where yeah. I I think Chisaki is gonna be like the whole like twenty six episodes. Oof. Yeah, but I think he's not going down without a fight. Like I yeah. I expect some type of a body count or major impact, and that could be All Might, <laughs> but it could be someone we don't know, like a uh, Kirishima. Well, I'm not saying anything. <laughs> <laughs> no, Lee, I mean, Kirishima, that, man. <laughs> too hard for that. 
Yeah, dude. Oh, I think I Shisaki will soften him up. <laughs> I think uh, I think Kirishima is a little bit too much of a side character to really have that much much of an impact. That's what you think. Yeah, yeah. I, I've been be... robbed on that account, so you know. I... Yeah. Hey, man. Who knows? You got it out there. We'll see, man. I I just love this character, though. I, I love the fact that he wears his feather boa and has this. What do you call it, David? <laughs> Plague Doctor mask. Plague Doctor mask. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I hate? I hate villains who talk too much or who are always like, ah, yes, my plan is to do this. And they have the you know, the good guy right in front of them and they literally just spill their guts out. And then That's the good true. guy thinks of a plan. He so, is appropriately insidious. Exactly. Like, Chisaki is a man of the hour. Like, he just comes in, does his business, and he's like, I'm out. And he yeah. hates germs, so I'm cool with him. <laughs> yeah. Seems fair. Everyone's sick with the, the hero syndrome. Yeah, basically. Yeah, it gets old. They all have these like weird personalities. Like Bakugo is your typical. I don't want to be part of the group. I'm Bakugo, and then you have the Happy Go Lucky crew, and you got fucking Lizard Girl or Frog Girl. Man, she's the worst. <laughs> you don't fit it out. Get out of here. What? Froppy's yeah, like Froppy. One of the best. Uh, uh, Dude, characters what about, out there. What about the guy Froppy. with the lion tail? <laughs> oh yeah, he's he's dead, man. You saw him. They showed him in that little <laughs> infographic. <laughs> Listen, man, my problem with Froppy is when you sound like a Starbucks menu item, you don't deserve to be a hero. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Okay, but now Sasha's thrown it down, so the next a couple episodes down, she'll have a whole monologue all to herself. Yeah, this is this is the this is the flag where she's gonna have a big like arc and, and be better. No, no, she she already did, I feel like, when she was doing her uh side study or her yeah. understudy. Oh, with the mm-hmm. seal guy. Yeah. Oh dude, seal guy. That guy's on fire. Sulky or whatever his name was. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Dude. That guy, he is underrated. They need to bring him back. Yeah. But there's he's only good. Of... He's like he's like Aquaman. He's only good when there's like water. Honestly, so he's probably not going to be involved here. He's pretty strong hey, outside of the water, dude. Yeah, go go swimming. Take him on. See what happens. <laughs> Bro, the, they um... need to get him against Shisaki, man. He wins every time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but what I was going to say though, like the, if there was an equivalent to Ten Ten in this anime, it's that lion lion tail guy. Oh, that's a good point. Uh, yeah, lion tail like guy just seems somewhat like... useful, dude. No. With what? I mean, what in one of the done, episodes, like she brought out the nothing. ocean or some shit. Wait, wait, what is his quirk? Is it just a lion tail? Isn't that like I technically no a idea. deformity? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, wait, are you talking like, about the guy with like all the limbs? Like the one who can talk no, to... No, no, no. no, 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 no. Just that guy, like the that karate looking, looking guy. Sexual freak. Weird. <laughs> I don't even think I remember. You know he has his ears up to those walls? We know what he's up to. He's staring at that little boy with the balls on his head. He's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, uh, the, lion t- the lion guy. I don't know what he is. Like they, all, The only scenes they ever show of this guy, he comes in, slaps somebody with his tail, and then they move on. Dude, I'm man. telling you. He was born with a deformity, and his parents were too embarrassed to tell him, yo, man, you're not so, special. So the definition of his quirk is just tail. Mm. A strong yeah. yet sturdy part of his body, which he can combine with martial arts and combat. That's literally his only quirk. <laughs> yeah, that that is Tenten. Tenten had yeah. a scroll that shot out random like plenty <laughs> tools. <laughs> 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 she would be perfect for like a Menards commercial. But oh god, what I was gonna say if, they, if his was a deformity. I mean, what what what's up with that? Uh, what the hell was that guy? Was he an ant? He was the guy that was like, giving the... Oh, the, yeah, centipede. Oh, the centipede? The centipede guy. I mean, <laughs> oh, what, yeah, oh, my what, God. what kind of quirk oh, would that dude. be? I mean, what would you feel? Like, you wake up and dude. you just... You know... Go ahead. That, that's the guy that is like, I want to get out in the field and do some work and save some lives. And they're like, yeah, you're a pretty big liability, man. <laughs> 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 he's like, I can do PowerPoints. <laughs> centipede. Um, oh, yeah, man. when I saw that, I was like, dude, that's like... Me and Taylor were like, "That's got to be the worst quirk ever. It's got to be worse than that vinegar guy." <laughs> oh, okay, now you're now you're Whoa. getting out there, dude. Oh, yeah, that's, that's kind of far out there. The Seriously? vinegar one's pretty friggin' bad. Yeah, I know. I'm saying like uh, that's I'm I'm saying like that's like that's like that's probably worse. I think. Um, as far as we know, of yes. Yeah. But I mean, ah, good anyway. old Santa Peter man. Yeah. <laughs> I would love to have that guy's quirk. Oh God. <laughs> Just talk, yeah, just talk, just talk PowerPoint, and it's like, yeah, just, just, just do your job. 
Um, I'm here to give a presentation. <laughs> <laughs> He's that guy that nobody likes. He's like the HR guy. <laughs> Toby. Toby. <laughs> God, no. No, it's please. Just, it's just like, you know, uh, what's your uh, quirk, sir? It's like, I'm just a set to be. It's like, mm, what do you do? I do PowerPoint. <laughs> I could also do Google Slides. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, apparently, they couldn't find anybody else to do that. I don't even know how he would make it in like here, like, like the you know what's uh, UA. It's just like what because you know all those people they had to go through. Did they have no the, no? There's different. Never mind. There's all different, different schools. This UA is yeah. a prestigious school. Yeah, you know you went to that technical college. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's fucked up. <laughs> we just lost half of our fans because you. <laughs> yeah. You're not allowed to talk anymore, Serena. <laughs> I'm the technical college. <laughs> well, Does anyone have anything else for this episode? No, I probably should stop. Yeah, yeah well, think, let's, let's, move, let's move they on. They give a <clears throat> custom chair to Fat Gum because that man's pretty big. I mean, he's pretty <laughs> elastic. I don't know. Okay. So you know, I'll try a bit if he sits down. You know how like that that like uh the thing that, like uh was it basically like destroys the quirk? Like what happens when he like does he just implode? <laughs> You know, mm. like, I don't if, know. He, if he got shot with the thing, what would happen? I think he like, just stays fat. He just like, yeah. the, bot the ability to absorb. If the centipede got shot, what happens to the centipede? <laughs> he just died. <laughs> no more hard ones, I guess. Does he, does he basically just be, start like looking human? He's like, oh my god, I'm hideous. I'm hideous. <laughs> like finally, I can stop doing these fucking powerpoints. <laughs> <laughs> You know that like he knew like that was him, and he basically just goes in like a here like a, just this like a just a major depression. Mm. He just starts drinking himself. You see him at the bars. Oh, poor Santa Peter. Uh, yeah. But I think Fat Gum or whatever his name is probably yeah. gets a heart attack because <laughs> his body has to be a you know super True. to contain that amount of fat oh, and still yep. live. Yeah, you but know. That. To me, his quirk seems more like he's just yelling at meetings. Like every time someone <laughs> says something, he's like, "Hey guys, don't blame them." And I'm like, "Dude, you could have just said that nice and calmly. Like, why, why are you getting out of your seat? Is that more work for you, fat ass?" <laughs> was, was it, wasn't he legit in the seat right next to the guy, dude? Uh, he, or maybe one or two down? I think so. Yeah, he's making a point. I guess. Yeah. I guess. Literally. Yeah. I mean, we all know if you want to sound important, you got to be allowed, right? So maybe that's, that's true. what he was trying to accomplish. That's what I like about Racerhead. He just looks like your typical drug addict who hasn't had any sleep. <laughs> and when he says something, everyone listens like, oh, mm, oh yeah. Cool. Of it that yeah. way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, they take him serious. Yeah. I, I want to regain his trust. <laughs> <laughs> I Unzip forgot strength. what betrayed his trust. I actually forgot what happened with that. Uh, they had like a went, second flashback, but no, ahead. it's. I think it was mentioning when uh, uh, Bakugo got a got kidnapped, and then uh, Midori and the others went on a oh. undercover thing to go rescue him. Yeah, that's right. Even though it worked, and they were not injured, right? But they weren't following protocol, and they were still yeah. just kids. they I could know. have gotten seriously injured. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Night Eye and Centipede would have had a lot to say there. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh yeah. I bet he has uh but Centipede has some documents on uh on that stuff. So. <laughs> he's he's yeah, putting them in his presentation now. Yeah. Give him five minutes, I'll make a PowerPoint. <laughs> and ah. Centipede. Hey, come on, guys. <laughs> God, he is awesome. he is uh, a horrible people. He's just trying to be a hero, all right? Yeah. Anyway, we're just sure. giving a shit about these guys, so I don't know if anybody has any more on the episode or the future. Uh I mean there's really not much going on, I believe. It's just basically setting up for the next couple episodes. Yeah. yeah. Next episode should be pretty pretty awesome. Uh-huh. True that. All right, so we're just gonna.